This is Powering the Movement, a global citizen podcast, and I'm your host, Madge Thomas. This is a movement of engaged citizens around the world who are committed to ending extreme poverty by 2030. On this episode, hear how a nonprofit in Brazil gives entrepreneurs in its informal market the tools to power their economic growth. Tucked away in Paraisópolis, the second largest favela in Brazil, is a beauty salon. E eu atendo diversas pessoas, meu público é mais My customers are mostly women and I do eyebrow design, makeup, manicure and skincare. I also sell some cosmetics to these women that come here. And I sell clothes for their children as well. That's the salon's owner, Tatiani, speaking Portuguese. She's 38 years old, a mother, and one of Brazil's 45 million micro-entrepreneurs. Micro-entrepreneur, what does that mean? Generally, they operate in the informal economy, which is when people run their businesses off the books and out of government regulations. Studies estimate that Brazil's informal economy reaches 20 to 40% of its GDP. Not so micro. Many micro-entrepreneurs sell goods in the streets or go door-to-door. For Tatiani, her business started in the home. She started to doing manicure uh, in the houses of the people, and then and then she started to uh, attending people in her own, her own house, and then her husband uh, started to not like every people uh, in their own house. And today she has this beauty salon that also um, sells clothes and beauty products. That's Luisa Boni the co-founder of Tamo Junto, which means we are together. Tamo Junto offers online classes and business training to micro-entrepreneurs and connects them to resources to formalize their businesses. Tamo Junto is an online platform that was created inside Aliança Empreendedora. Aliança Empreendedora is an NGO that supports low-income micro-entrepreneurs in Brazil that are people to uh, make their own jobs, their start their businesses without business tools, without uh, formal knowledge. What we offer is content, uh, content in form of videos, in form of courses, in form of video lessons, uh, really practical content to help the entrepreneur to price their goods and their services, how to manage their finances, how to sell uh, in order to, ha- to them to have a better quality of life and make sure their business is an income source for them and for their families. Tamo Junto's courses are designed to be engaging and, most importantly, practical. Our methodology and our content is designed for them, uh, for, for people that have a lot of practical experience. We need to make the contents fun because the, the entrepreneur, they, are, they will only see to the end if they find that they are relating to the content, that the content helps them like in a practical way, like today I will can, I saw this video about pricing and tomorrow I can put this in practice in my, my business. So the content needs to be practiced and the content needs to be fun and interesting. So one of the stories that I, I like to tell is from this women entrepreneur. She also made cakes, but she was denying orders because she didn't have the money to buy the materials. So she needed to understand how to organize their finances, how to have the capital to buy the, the, the materials to be able to attend that client. Most of times they don't know how to price, so sometimes they, they don't have profit. Once they have support they need and they see that the job they are doing can be better, they can uh, have more vision for the future, they can manage their finance and make their business grow and succeed. And when they succeed, they do not succeed by themselves because when a micro-entrepreneur in the community succeeds, uh, the community also has uh, lifted up. Generally, those who use Tamo Junto don't have a business background or a college degree. They sometimes don't even finish high school. 
And most of them do not see themselves as entrepreneurs. We believe in Aliança Empreendedora and in Tamo Junto that everyone can be an entrepreneur, that you do not born as entrepreneur, that to be an entrepreneur you just need a set of skills and this can be learned because we often see that the word entrepreneur just resonate with the rich ones, the men that have access to formal knowledge. So our work and our role is to tell them, yes, you are an entrepreneur, everyone can be an entrepreneur, and we can help you with this content, we can help you to formalize. This is the way you can price your services and this is work for you. You need to uh, understand how to separate your business money from your money. So it's practical tips that is language addressed for them. So we make the content very practical in videos that are fun, that are short, so they feel represented by the content. Luisa says that the majority of the micro-entrepreneurs who use Tamo Junto are women of colour, minorities upon minorities. They often find themselves turning to entrepreneurship out of necessity, especially as unemployment climbs, wages stay stagnant and inequality rises. Most of the, the people that use Estamos Junto are women and black, uh, start their business by necessity, and most of them are the head of their families if they are not alone taking care of the children. I will tell about Ana Maria. She had to start their own business because her husband went to jail and she was alone with her five children and needed to have urgent income source. And she started a micro business doing bakeries and food to sell in the streets. Tamo Junto delivers crucial information so these micro-entrepreneurs can build their businesses into sustainable income. Tamo Junto taught Tatiani how to manage her finances so she could transform her business from something she did at home to a storefront beauty shop. With guidance from Tamo Junto, she formalised her business this year after running her shop for more than five years. Eles me ajudaram com a formalização, que eu tinha medo de... I was afraid of these bureaucratic things. And I had so many doubts. Luisa helped me and I made it. Today I got my own CNPJ, Brazilian Company Registration Number. So I can get a discount on many products because of that and offer a much cheaper products to the customers. Tamo Junto engages 30,000 people on their platforms and Luisa wants to continue growing. Tamo Junto was a finalist for the Global Citizen Cisco Youth Leadership Award. The winner will receive $250,000 to enact their organization's vision, and in the case of Tamo Junto, to keep that vision growing. Be a finalist of the Cisco Youth Leadership Prize means for me an opportunity to show the world the potential of the micro-entrepreneurs in Brazil, the potential they have to lift our economy. Our dream is that every single low-income people in Brazil that owns their own business know that we are together. <laughs> in Tamo Junto, they can find the content they need to leave their businesses and to develop their businesses and to make a better life for them and for their families. If we receive the prize, our goal is to make a huge communication campaign to make sure that people that do not know that Tamo Junto exists yet, because Brazil is a large country, we have 30,000 users, but our goal until uh, 2025 is to reach 300,000 micro-entrepreneurs in Brazil. So it's a, a bold uh, goal, but we do know that people have access to internet and we've, we can use the resources and make more content, we are sure that we are, will be able to reach everyone. We will make sure that every micro-entrepreneur know that they have Tamo Junto to support them. Luisa has ambitious goals for Tamo Junto, and so do the micro-entrepreneurs she works with. Back at the salon, Tatiani is dreaming big too. 
É, o que eu posso falar é que eu tenho muito a agradecer, né? What I can say is that I thank them a lot. If it wasn't for these opportunities, I think I would be still closed mind. After I began making the courses, and that Luisa helped me, my mind was opened. And I don't think small anymore. I want to generate jobs for other people. I wish I could teach my job to other people too, and help those who need as well. When you are entrepreneurs, we have a mind full of dreams, projects and plans. And sometimes it gets confusing. And when you find someone who can support us, everything is better and clear. I just have to thank Tamo Junto and Luisa. The winner of the Cisco Youth Leadership Award is being announced this month. So you can head to our website, globalcitizen.org, to find out if Tamo Junto won. While you're there, you can check out stories about other changemakers, just like Luisa. To learn more about Tamo Junto, their website is in our show notes. And you can start taking action to support women entrepreneurs today on the Global Citizen app. If you want to share Luisa's story, please send this episode to a friend or help others find this podcast by rating and reviewing Powering the Movement wherever you're listening. It really helps the cause. I'm your host, Madge Thomas. Powering the Movement, a Global Citizen podcast, is a co-production of Global Citizen and Kindred Media. Danielle Roth produced this episode, and it was scored and mixed by Brad Stratton. Sandy Smolens is our executive producer. Chris Peterson is the executive producer for Kindred Media. Cassie Carruthers is the editor-in-chief for Global Citizen. Special thanks to Amelia Mello, Chantelle Simpson, and Matt Petronsvier.